Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're talking about healthier choices management, taking some more HCMC. So, you know, that day has the week has ended and PM has given their response. So in this video, we're gonna cover about you know the points they gave and what that's gonna affect on the price, or at least in my opinions, and some of the stuff we should be watching out for. So if you guys found this video useful or liked it, be sure to click that subscribe button down below so you guys never miss out a video. And if it helps me out a lot, if you guys will click that like button as well, it costs nothing, but it helps get this video out to the whole community. So that will grow stronger and stronger. And other than that, if I get something wrong or there's some stuff I've missed out, feel free to comment down below and you know we'll address to that. So these are, you know, this, this is a summary of everything. I'll be talking, uh, you know, more in depth on all of these points, but let's cover some of the stuff that HTMC has originally said, and then you know, we'll talk about it. So firstly, HTMC gave their, um, you know, definition of combustion, and then they were going to give their own experiment from a doctor. And pretty much they said, there was also the fact, you know, about the CFO giving inside the selling. So this actually wasn't mentioned um, in this response from PM. So, you know, there was no inside the selling, but some of the things that we did talk about that we, you know, it was going to happen was the fact that PM did get their own definition of combustion and their own definition was the FDA report. So if you guys remember originally with um, HCMC submitting their exhibit J, which was the FDA report for the IQS device in there in which it gave a definition of combustion. And so that's the com combustion definition they're using. And so this is what we talked about PM using their own um, word of definition. They're using their own types of definition. What has this you know definition created? Well, because they gave you know their definition, which was pretty much they're saying there is no combustion, but you know obviously HCMC gave the combustion the definition of combustion as uh, in a, in a scientific view saying that there was combustion, but PM gave their definition of co um, combustion, and so these two are conflicting. So there's a conflict of fact, and you know what that does is. Pretty much, it gives two sides of the argument, so there is no set com um, definition now. It's not a matter of who's right, who's wrong right now. It's just a matter of who can present their facts better. Because you guys need to understand is that we are giving this these points to the judge, and what the judges are is that they are an expert, but in law. You know, they're not scientists. They're nothing. They they probably know the minimal science, but what they got in order to decide you know who wins who loses is whoever can present it better and i'll be talking about that in a second so pm got their own expert to um talk about combustion and all of that and what they've said the what the expert has said was that what hcmc has said is wrong you know this is the this is what combustion is and you know etc etc however one of the point that you know we want to look at was the fact that the expert that pm brought in is an expert that works for PM. So it's an expert that is already working within PM. And you know, you could argue that there is obvious um, biased view here, whereas the expert that HTMC used was actually an expert that was paid for. So it was an outside expert, you know, it was not an expert that worked in the company. So then you could argue there's less biased view. You know, we can't actually decide obviously which one um, inspires which one is not, or even if is even biased in the first place. But you know, that is something that I've seen some people already be talking about in terms of um, HCMC's and PM's experts. So that's what you, that's what um, one of the points we're mentioning. Then, you know, what PM has said was, you already gave one definition and that was originally, the definition they originally gave was the one in the first motion, the one that where the PM got their motion to dismiss and in which it was, again, the exhibit J where HTMC used the FDA report and then used that definition of combustion. And so what PM has said is that, look, this is already what you've given. You can't change a new one. You can't give a whole new definition. This is what you're given. This is what you have to go with. Um, I think it's very <laughs> unsportsman um, of what they're doing. You know, they're just saying, look, you can't change it, etc., etc. However, you know, what the judge has said was the fact, you know, we don't want to see you guys give this FDA report. And so pretty much what the judge has implied originally was the fact that HMC does change, you know, their definition of combustion. And what, you know, what we're seeing right now is judge wanting, so I'll write it. So judge 
want um, HTMC to give new definition. I spelled judge wrong. Um, wants to give new um, definition, but PM saying um, is saying that you can't. Pretty much is what what is happening. And but end of the day, remember guys, the judge decides who wins. The judge decides what's up. The judge decides what they want. And so if this is what the judge wants, if the judge wants HTMC to give a new definition, then you know they will take in a new definition. But what PM is saying is again to the this is the judge as well is that look they've already given their definition of combustion. You can't just change it. But you know we are arguing the fact that the judge do want to see a new definition of combustion because the previous one was obviously um, not in their favor, and the previous one you know they want to see a change. And so this is what um, they're doing. And look, at the end of the day, guys, look, the judge decides whose side is better. And, you know, this is what I was talking about. So the judge is not a scientist. The judge is obviously a lawyer. The judge is the judge. And what they need to do is pretty much with all the evidence, so at the, all the articles, all the FDA, all the reports, all of that, you know, all these evidence and exhibitions that you're submitting is what the judge gets, is what the jury gets. And what happens is, is... They get all of these information and with this information, with these evidence and these reasoning, what they see, they will give a result based on, on that. They're not going to get, you know, any other thing. The only time they will bring in an expert is obviously for the royalty, is for the lost profits. But, you know, for this, from what they are basically using what the evidence is given and then give their own judgment and then give their own answer. And so, you know, this is, this is why there's a point here of bad cases can still win. So... PM, you know, right now, PM could be saying, or HCMC, with whichever um, of the one, you know, they as long as they present their information in a well-formed manner, in, in, the, in, the, in the best way possible, the, the clearest way, you know, the strong structured, then the judge will give that win to them, you know, because they don't, they're not actually, they don't know, you know, you could argue that PM's definition of combustion is right, or you could argue HTMC's combustion is right, you know, but they don't know because they're not scientists. They will only use what's um, stronger in terms of the argument and then give an answer based on that. And so, you know, we need to pretty much right now it's based on whoever can give the better side of the argument. And so that's why I'm saying here, bad case can still win because even if you are, even if, say, PM is in the wrong here, PM's, you know, combustion is, there is actually combustion. If they present everything right and manage to convince the judge there is no combustion, they can still get the win, you know? And so that's what I'm talking about, bad case and still win. Um, but then, you know, here we'll be talking about how strong was their argument and ultimately what everyone's wondering, you know, what will it do to the price? Before we go any further, you know, I do want to say that, again, guys, I'm not a lawyer, nor am I a financial advisor, so do take my opinions for a grain of salt. With these points, it's summaries of what I think and a summary of what I found out. And, you know, I'm going to, what ultimately I'm doing is I'm using these points to give a judgment of what I feel the investor sentiment are, you know, how that will affect on the price. If you guys want to see, a, you know, a more lawyer's perspective in terms of this whole, you know, response, then again, guys, draw some source. Look, I got to give credit where credit's due. Draw some source, get, made a whole live stream. You guys can feel free to watch that. You know, he gives it you know, dead on, he, he is a lawyer and, you know, he, he will give it to you in a lawyer's perspective. So look guys, I'm, I'm being up straight here. I'm not a lawyer, but this is my opinion. You know, I've already seen, um, you know, some of the stuff and, you know, this is what I'm giving. So I'm just making this clear now, but here PM's arguments doesn't actually seem like it's pushing back. And so what PM has done is they didn't actually give anything where, you know, one thing that we were talking about what PM was going to do. Firstly, it was they're going to give their own definition. They're going to get their own expert to potentially do an experiment. And they're going to basically uh, push back everything that HCMC has said. So, you know, if they're going to, if HCMC said this, they're going to push that back. If HCMC said that, they're going to push that back. Stuff like that. However, with what is being submitted, PM's argument doesn't actually seem like it's pushing what HCMC said back. You know, we talked about how there was two, or rather there was three types of, you know, response that they could give in order that will affect the price firstly it was a very good response and a good response is actually bad for us because that means that they are on the stronger side and then it was like a normal um 
slash dull response, which is what it seems like now. I'll be talking about that in a second as well. And a very bad response. And the bad response is something that is good for us because it means that they're on the weaker side. So it means that HTMC has better chance of winning, which will push HTMC's price up. And so these were the three kind of um, conclusions and three types of outcome we would see from PM's response. So far, you know, I don't want to be biased or nor do I want to be too, you know, kind of um, lenient here. So I don't want to say it's bad because, you know, I don't feel like they've given any type of bad argument. Had they not given a definition of combustion, you know, you could argue that they don't have a new definition of combustion, like how HMC found a new one. But, you know, this it was their definition from the first place. And so, you know, with what they've given, I really don't think that the response is bad. However, I don't think it's good either. Now, one thing you got to um, bear in mind and one thing you got to understand is that end of the day, this is up to the judge and none of us know what the judge is thinking. None of us know how the judge will view this evidence. And so we can't actually give, a, you know, me, not anyone, not even draw some source can give a definition or an a definite answer of how good this response was. Because to, to my eyes, it looks normal and dull. To other people's eyes, it may look bad. And to the judge's eyes, it may look good. You know, no one knows what's happening. And but this is my opinion. And I feel like it wasn't good because they didn't give any, you know, new things. They didn't do anything that would seem like, look, HMC said this and it was absolutely wrong. They didn't do anything, you know, to the, of that sort. But they didn't do anything bad where it's like, okay, fine. HMC's definition of combustion is right. However, this is not combustion. You know, if they said something along the lines of that, that would have been bad. That would have been bad for PM. That would have been very good for us, but it would have been bad for PM. And it doesn't seem like they give that. But what it does seem like is they gave normal slash doll. You know, and what I mean by that is, you no, know, the expert pretty much just said, look, what you guys said is wrong. No, it's not that. It's not this. It's not that. And there was not that much of that. You know, there was not, look, they're wrong because of this. They're wrong because of that. They didn't give anything of that sort, you know. And what I said here, you know, PM's argument doesn't actually seem like it's pushing back. There is no argument where it sprung out to me where it's like, look, what you can't say this. Or, you know, they... The only thing they kind of said was that, look, you can't give a new one. But like, this wasn't even, because the judge pretty much, he didn't obviously state, but he pretty much asked for a new definition from HCMC because what he said was that, look, this FDA report said this, so we don't want to see this. So pretty much asking for a new you know, definition of combustion. And so, you know, what the only thing that PM really said of like, you can't do this was not even that good. But again, I don't think it's bad. I just think it's dull. And so, this was like the medium outcome. This was the outcome that I feel like could is actually more towards the positive than it is towards the negative for the HCMC prices because, you know, what could this indicate? What could this mean? The fact that they gave a dull comment, you know, does it mean that they're not actually strong, that they're not actually too confident anymore because they don't actually have any points where they could use to actually push the arguments back. You know, if they were very strong on their arguments, then they could push it back. You know, if they're very strong that this is not combustion, then you could be like, this is not combustion because of this, this and that, you know? But they couldn't, and you know, they could. this could mean that they don't have anything up their sleeves anymore. I could be wrong, you know, I don't know how PM thinks, I don't know how the lawyers think, so look, I could be wrong. This is all an assumption hypothetical for entertainment purposes. I want to make this very clear. And so, you know, this, it does seem like what investors will view this is that, you know, this is very good because they're running out of things to say. They don't have things to say and they don't have strong things to say. And so it looks like HTMC is on the upper hand here. And so I feel like with the market sentiment is that we are going to be seeing some of the price going up. I'll be talking about the volume in a second as well. It's not that much. It's not that major, but I'll be talking about it in a second. And so, you know, this is the, the medium outcome and, the reason why this is tricky is because look, if you if they had a good response, the, the outcome was clear. The price was going to tank. If they had a bad response, again, the outcome is clear. They're going to have a, you know, the price is going to spike up. But this is like, you know, not so good, but not so bad. And, you know, how will people think? Th that's the tricky part, you know. I personally think there will be some investors who will feel like, look, they're, they're running out of things to say. This is good for HCMC because they're running things out. They're running out of things to say, meaning they can't actually back this up, meaning we're going to win, Right. Some people could be saying, you know, we're still going to sit on the sideline. You know, they run out. Of, they it seems like they've run out of things to say, but you know, we're not too sure. I don't. I don't feel like there will be anything that is negative for us, and so that's what I mean by we are more towards the positive side because I feel like you you can't really see any negatives out of this. I guess the only negative, if we're really nitpicking here, 
um, is the fact that potentially, and this is a very low chance, but again, I know I could be wrong, is the fact that maybe the judge will agree with what PM has said, and it's like, you guys can't give a new definition of combustion. I highly doubt it, but you know, we don't want to you know, be too biased, we don't want to rule anything out. And I feel like that if, if you really want to, you know, get something that is negative, I feel like that, is, that could be probably, probably the only negative things. You know, tell me what you guys think, if, if there's anything that you guys think is negative. But for me, it's like, it's not, there, there's not clear negative things, but there's somewhat of a positive thing there. And so that's why I'm saying we're leaning more towards the positive side than we are towards the negative side. And, you know, we could potentially see the price kind of opening up a bit higher. You know, I doubt it'll be lower. It'll be quite surprising to me if it's lower because I don't actually see any bad sentiments with this. Again, guys, if you guys feel like it's different, comment down below. But yeah, guys, that's it for this video, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you guys didn't, make sure to press a like and subscribe button down below. Comment down below what you guys from my HCMC and comment down below what you guys want to see next. Other than that, enjoy your day.